This video will provide you with a brief overview of the Physicians and Residents Guide. The first tab is the Home tab, and it gives you a general overview of library services and resources, library contact information, and library hours and locations. My photo is here because I'm the librarian that works primarily with your department. However, you can reach out to any librarian for assistance. The next tab is the Library Homepage and General Search tab. It is a screenshot of the Library Homepage with information labeled. If you watched a library orientation video or had any kind of live orientation that reviewed this, this tab is a great page to reference if you need a refresher later on. There's also a video at the bottom that explains how to use our Sum and Discover tool, which searches across nearly all of the databases that we have. Other guides and parts of this guide have information on how to search subject-specific databases. There's also information here on how to log into our resources and how to find an article when you have the citation. Featured databases and clinical support tools is the next tab. Um, so you can see some resources that are especially helpful for your discipline, as well as a link to our complete list of databases. The next tab is Literature Searches. The Literature Searches tab provides a link to our full Literature Searches guide. Um, it also provides a direct link to our interlibrary loan article and book request form, which you can use to request an item that our library does not own. Let's take a look at the Literature Searches guide <clears throat> just to show you what's here. So again, on the Literature Searches Guide, you see a general welcome screen um, that has some information. As you scroll down further, it talks about what is a literature search, some tips on conducting a literature search, and then some tips on forming your PICO question, in addition to that general welcome information that you saw on the other guide. The next tab is again that library homepage overview. We do like to keep some consistency of information on our guide, so that's one that you will tend to see pop up on most any of the guides you look at. The next tab over is videos to help you search. So again, you see the Sum and Discover, Discover video listed here, um, but you also see some more information on searching tools like CINAHL, um, using Boolean operators, um, and information on the concept of using subject headings versus keywords. And then the next tab over is Guides to Help You. So this has more information. Um, they're not videos, but they are worksheets or handouts um, that can give you some more tips on conducting your literature search. So like here you see a PDF on conducting a literature search. There's some information on um, evaluating resources, some basic database searching principles, um, using subject or mesh headings, um, a link to information on PubMed and other NCBI resources. Um, and again, there's that finding articles when you have the citation information. So let's go back to our Physician and Resident Guide. So again, the tab that I'm on is Literature Searches, and that's where the link is that I clicked to get to that full-blown Literature Searches Guide. So next we're going to take a look at Research and Citation Management. This tab has um, some research and citation management tools. Uh, the library does not subscribe to a specific tool, so we have um, information on tools that are completely free or free versions of some of the paid tools. The featured tool that we have here is Zotero um, because it is completely free and there's a lot of really great information out there on how to use Zotero. So you can see that we've got links and videos. Um, there is a book in our library print collection which can be sent to you at campus. Um, so you can take a look at that. The final page is our copyright tab. And this links you out to our full copyright guide. Um, so it is important to mention that librarians are not copyright attorneys. So while we cannot offer you legal advice on copyright, um, whether it is whether your use of an item falls within copyright or somebody else's use of your information is a violation of your copyright, what we can do is provide you with some resources and help you work through some frameworks uh, to determine whether or not use falls within copyright. I and mean, again, this is important because you obviously want to know if what you're using violates someone's copyright. And as you get your own work out there, you also want to make sure that nobody is violating your copyright. Um, so if you click on the link for the copyright guide, it takes you to the full-blown guide. 
um, which you can see has some tabs on general copyright, um, some resources, so tools and charts, some other guides, some print resources in the library. Um, there's a tab on here that walks you through some of those frameworks to uh, make sure you're being copyright compliant, some information on author rights, and then some information on images and copyright.